Good evening, fragrance lovers. It is now going to be time for our weekly fragrance review, and we are going to be reviewing a fragrance from Bath & Body Works. This is one that came out in 2022, so it's not new new, but it's not old old. This is the Butterfly from Bath & Body Works. As you guys can see, this is what the packaging looks like for the lotion. I love the packaging. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Very pretty. And you guys can see all the pretty butterflies. I'm absolutely obsessed with the packaging. I think it's beautiful. And then this is what the packaging for the Fine Fragrance Mist looks like. And it's got a gold nozzle, gold top. And then there is the beautiful butterfly to match the purple and gold detail of the lotion. I think it looks really pretty together. So let's go ahead and get into the notes of this fragrance, guys. So the notes for the Bath & Body Works Butterfly are as follows. The notes are raspberry nectar, iris petals, and airy vanilla. So those are the notes in this. Um, now, sorry if you guys hear a little clinking. My husband is playing with the um, TV right now. So um, best time to wear this fragrance is definitely going to be more springtime, summertime wear. When it's starting to get a little bit warmer, um, not not too entirely really hot, I think, but in the warmer springtime would be really nice. Definitely the time when the butterflies come out, so it's definitely a good fragrance for that. So definitely spring appropriate. Fragrance projection on this, with me wearing it within a week, it's pretty good. It's, it's between the lines of light to moderate, depending on how much you spray or how little you spray. I have a heavy hand. I like to spray my fragrances quite a bit, so this is more of a moderate fragrance to my nose. Um, fragrance projection, this is, like I said, it's moderate. As far as the um, fragrance lasting hours in the fragrance, this is going to be anywhere from four to five hours longevity, which isn't bad, but you will have to pack this with you um, if you want it to be through the whole day. I do reapply my fragrances after lunch because I don't want to go back to work smelling like a sandwich so I do reapply my fragrances after lunch. Um, best time to wear this fragrance. This fragrance is definitely best suited for the daytime. I like to wear a fragrance like I've said before that's more musky a lot stronger in the evening but this is a really nice fragrance and because of the sake of the review I wore it during the daytime and the evening time. It was really nice and I really liked it. Um, as far as the conclusion for the packaging of this fragrance, I like how they stick to theme. Um, packaging, I'm going to go ahead and give this a 7 out of 10 packaging because they both look beautiful together. As far as the product itself, the lotion and the mist, I am going to also give it a 7 out of 10 rating because I do like it a lot. So it's definitely, as far as my conclusions for this rating... It's a strong, solid out of 10, or strong 7 out of 10, guys. So, yeah. Um, one thing I will say with this one is I have yet to review um, Bath & Body Works um, Sweet Pea. I do have Sweet Pea in my collection, too. Now, what I have used in Sweet Pea is I've used the body butter before, so I do have a little bit of knowledge with what Sweet Pea smells like. Now... This is very close to what Sweet Pea smells like, in my opinion. Um, if you are an avid Bath & Body Works collector, you can have both Sweet Pea and Butterfly. But if you are not an avid collector of Bath & Body Works, I would say you can choose between Butterfly and Sweet Pea. It's really up to you guys. I like them both because I am an avid collector of Bath & Body Works. If you guys have seen all my reviews in my channel, you know... I have an extensive fragrance collection, and it is no different with Bath & Body Works, be Victoria's Secret, high-end perfumes, low-end perfumes, but it's just something that I love. Um, so I don't mind having both of these, the scents in my collection. That being said, um, if you favor one over the other, pick the one that you like the most, and I don't really think it's going to be that much of a difference between the two, Bath & Body Works, Butterfly, and Sweet Pea. That's just my opinion. I have yet to review Sweet Pea. Maybe during that review it will be a little bit different with my thoughts, but as it stands right now today, there are pretty similar scents. Alright guys, so that is my thoughts on the Bath & Body Works Butterfly. I hope you liked the review. 
Now, the next fragrance I am going to be starting next week is going to be a fragrance that I will be wearing the week of my birthday. However, the day of my birthday, I will be wearing another fragrance because I want to wear something different for my birthday. I will be turning 41 on Wednesday, April the 12th. That is my birthday, guys. But the next fragrance I am going to be starting this Monday is another fragrance from the Juicy Couture line. This is the Peace Love and Juicy Couture. This is what the box looks like. I got this fragrance from Marshalls. It is the 3.4 full ounce bottle. So you guys can see what it looks like like that on the packaging. I think I spent like 25 bucks for this, but this is what the bottle looks like. So this is going to be the fragrance that I will be reviewing next week. If you guys want to know what my thoughts are on the Peace Love Juicy Couture by Juicy Couture, stay tuned for the fragrance review that I will be uploading Friday. But as always, guys, that is my thoughts on the Bath & Body Works Butterfly. If you have any questions, please leave them below in a comment, and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, otherwise, I will see you guys next week. Bye.